I'm so excited. This update is huge and it's awesome. They did such a great job with it. But um yeah, welcome back to another one of my videos. So we're back here on Rose of the Sins and it's update day. Now we have the placement update. I'm very excited. Um, this update has been needed for a long time. So we have massive upgrades to furniture placement, custom increments, diagonal placement, free rotate, multi-placement, resizing, and new clutter and rustic furniture sets. So for those of you who have been playing Rogue Citizens for a while and you were here for last year's Halloween event, this is going to be familiar for you. So the Halloween festival is coming soon. This is what the construction site looks like so far and it's going to be coming this month. So we're going to have two updates in one month. That's crazy. I'm so excited for this uh, update. Rogue Citizens has had the best Halloween updates and I'm I'm just very excited because the the festival update from last year was amazing. Honestly, it was probably one of my favorite updates on Rogue Citizens or on just Roblox altogether. So, now we have an NPC for Mayor June. Mayor June is a Discord bot on the Rogue Citizens Discord and he's also the mayor of the town. This is the first time we've actually seen him in NPC form, but we do know what he looks like from the icon on the bot. So we have some workers here too. Um, Jalen, Michelle, along with Ron. I'm not sure if these are the same construction workers who um, construct who were the construction workers for wheels and deals but it could be i'm also surprised there's no vial crates because the vial crates are some easter eggs that are hidden around the map and it, it's just a box with a v on it so so there's a conspiracy around that and uh, if you want to see some of the other conspiracies, make sure to check out Tyler Fire Guy's secrets video. It's awesome. Next, we are looking at um, Bailey's shop, and we're looking at the new skin tones that have been added into the game. So now there's more of a variety of skin tones that you can choose from which is very cool. Another small part of this update is that they've removed Jesse's juice from the spawn area, but they're gonna be keeping this cart here for a while. I have no idea how much longer, but probably until winter. Okay, so now we're on to the furniture part. There's a new rustic furniture set and also new clutter furniture. They've revamped all of the beds as well and redesigned several other furniture items. These are what the new rustic furniture set and clutter items look like. So there's a bunch of new varieties of couches and armchairs, which is really cool. And there's some new benches that we have. Um, we have two new kinds. And then now there's new loft beds and there's different types of loft beds. There's one with a desk right here. There's one with shelves right here. And then there's one with nothing under it. Next part, 
They've revamped all of the beds and made them look uh, amazing. Um, some of the newer beds, such as the agrarian bed and industrial bed, probably were not updated because those are new beds. Also, they've redesigned several other furniture items, but I don't have an exact list of them. You'll just find them as you go. I also have to say, when you spawn down your house, it's 10 times less laggy along with when you place stuff down and buy stuff in the furniture shop. It's so much less laggy. I'm very excited about this because I struggle with lagging and getting kicked from the game so many times it's so stressful to make videos but this is gonna make my videos so much better and now there's a new ui when placing furniture so when i press on an item let's press on this block and now you can see over here there's position increment rotate increment free rotate and multi-placing and also you can see the grid when you're placing down items so you can also see the way the item is facing with the arrow sign. So as an example, the grid you can see now with this fireplace, and if any other items get into that grid space, then it's gonna turn red and you're not gonna be able to place it in that, in that position. And now you have the ability to scale some furniture. This is the only furniture item that I really know that you can scale so when you place it down you can press it and you can see that grid again and then you go to the UI right here and press scale you can make it longer you can make it wider and also uh, yeah you can make it longer and you can make it wider a really good example of the new ability the scale is placing down a block and then pressing it and scaling it so now with this you can make it go thinner and it's and you can make it go taller and it's amazing this is gonna be so great for builders you also now have the ability to change furniture rotation increment so when you press X you can change the rotation increment so if I were to press X now, then it would change the, the numbers right here. Then if I wanted to turn it and I'm at five degrees, it'll turn five degrees whenever I press R. But if you wanted to free rotate it, then you'll have to press control. Then you can turn it wherever you want. Next, you have the ability to change furniture placement increment. So if you go up here, then you can press Z to change the position increment. It's going to change to 1 stud, 0.5 studs, 0.2 studs, or 0.1 studs. And with the rotating, it only you can change it to 90 degrees, 45 degrees, 15 degrees, or 5 degrees. So now it's smoother to move around even though I'm lagging and it doesn't look very smooth. And now you have you have the ability to multi-place for furniture while holding shift. And you can see right here if you're multi-placing. So I'm going to press shift and multi-place. If you have the item in your inventory, it's going to automatically take it out of your inventory. But if you don't have the item, then it'll just pop up the shop so that you can buy it. And now surface items can be placed on floors. So if you had a book and you put it on a table, you could not put it on the floor. But now you can. So you can place it right here. I really like that. That's going to add a lot of more ability to build with extra items. And moving furniture can now be canceled without storing the item. So if I had this book here and I wanted to move it, 
and I was putting it here and I was like, no, I don't want that there anymore. And I liked it in the other spot. So I can just press cancel, which is Q and it'll go back to the place it just was. So that's it for this video. And the other parts of this is just minor and major UI improvements. Uh, I haven't really seen many, so um, if I see any, then I'll shout it out in my next video. But I hope to be posting more. I just was waiting for this update. I'm sorry it took so long. I have so many more ideas now because of this update and I'm very excited for the future of my channel and my videos as well. Thank you for watching, have an amazing day, make sure to like and subscribe, bye!